It's going to be an awesome year, but it's going to be a year that we need to roll up our sleeves and know, church, we got to get to work. we got to get to work. we got to pray for this president like never before. Prayer and God's call, God's anointing on that man, and prayer through the church and agreement with God's plan, put that man in office. And that's what's going to keep him in office. So how can that fail when half the church is listening to the media and the, and the, and the words of the enemy? And that unfortunately is, in, is happening and could happen even more. So then it's going to take the mighty arm of God through the church that knows how to work with him and will work with him, will cooperate with the Holy Ghost to keep the plan of God on course for this nation. Many prophetic words spoken through the years that America would be restored back to her God-given destiny. We're in that process. We can't just sit back at home, in our homes, in our easy chairs, on our couches, and go, praise the Lord, it's going to happen. It's not happening without the church. It's not happening without the Holy Ghost. Everybody say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. It's Holy Ghost. not happening without the Holy Ghost. People don't get saved without the Holy Ghost. They don't get healed without the Holy Ghost. They don't get baptized without the Holy Ghost. They don't get delivered without the Holy Ghost. So, it's going to take the Holy Ghost. So there needs to be Holy Ghost activity. And it can only come from one place, one source. And that's the church, the body of Christ. Amen. Amen.